Welcome to Trading Lounge and the daily US stocks for Tuesday, October the 26th. <clears throat> and just to point out here with the NASDAQ, making this new high here um, kind of takes away any sort of bearish um, move in terms of having wave four over here with some sort of ABC pattern over here. Um, so because it takes us past that uh, third, third five wave structure within here. So um, yeah. So some stocks are um, leading to the upside. I mean, uh, Tesla is certainly leading to the upside, hitting $1,000. Um, yeah, but some are leading and some are following and uh, so on. So we're seeing uh, stocks like Amazon here <clears throat> and also Alphabet, Google, sort of sitting on the, their lows and uh, also Facebook as well. Uh, so some of them are sitting on their lows and I don't really have a nice impulse wave off the off the low here for, for this. So it's just going to be interesting. I mean, I know that we'll have a bounce off the 3,300 here. So far we have a little ABC pattern down through here. So I'm just sort of wondering, you know, and, and thinking that, well, we should be pushing up from this point but I just don't really have a nice five wave structure within all all of this here I can go one and two one and two and one and two uh, and there's actually an extra one in there as well when we have a little look at the tick chart in here so yeah considering this the way four here if we look at this as one and two here and one and two uh, and then one and two here then we should push up from this point. I don't think that I will put that there. <clears throat> it's just, I don't have a, um, I also don't have a nice sort of impulse wave, you know, displaying to the upside. I would like to go long here, but I just don't, <clears throat> you know, there's a, there's a, there's sort of negative weight there because I can also count this up here as corrective as an ABC for the A wave, a B wave and a C wave up here for this. So, yeah, I just think that I need to see a little bit more sort of structure in, in here for this. Obviously, if you wanted to buy this, then the stop would need to go under this particular number here. Um, but it's just not ready. I just think there's better opportunities uh, out there. <clears throat> this is another one here with uh, Google as well. Uh, the move up through here, we can look at it as one and two and one and two here. It hasn't, oh, it has breached that today as well. So, um, yeah, well, that causes a bit of a problem uh, as well now for this. I could probably squeeze, um, you know, some sort of five wave structure out of all of this here. Uh, so, but we're not buying just yet. Our buying is, is way up here, but we'd put that obviously at the 2,800. So this is, we'll put, um, <clears throat> we'll put Amazon and uh, Google in the same boat. Uh, and Facebook can go in there as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll need to rearrange this. Now, I didn't notice that had actually <clears throat> breached that uh, wave too low there. So, so we can't use that situation. Um, so we could have a bearish situation here. I mean, obviously, as I mentioned, I can uh, squeeze this in here and look at it in some particular way. Uh, that's not a problem. Let's just see how it builds up from this point with Amazon and Google uh, and so on. I'm expecting Facebook to move a bit lower, but let's just see how this uh, plays out here. So I don't really have any opportunities in these particular stocks. So, I mean, Apple's a better stock, obviously, um, it, because it's pushed up. I'm not saying it's because it's got a better product or anything. I'm just saying because it's pushed up. Um, so what is really sort of waiting for here is a bit of a classic trading levels pattern sitting at the 150. Uh, because I guess you could look at this here as, as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave up through to here and fail at that point and come down from here to have this other wave fall. I don't think it's the case. The markets are pretty bullish, but at the same time, uh, I didn't really see this push up. I'm I mean, it pushed up a little bit let's go in and have a little look but you know you can see that that uh this head and the shoulders here for this so getting on support there is you know pretty critical at this point so uh on that note let's just um uh get a bit more data in here 
So in this case, just from the low here, as you know, we've been looking at wave one and two here and one and two here. It also came sort of quite low here as well. And then we've got this nice sort of strong uh, looking wave here. We've got a long position here and here with the stop um, here. So we've been looking for a correction an ABC correction so we've pretty much got that we've got that sort of impulse wave to the to the upside there so we could pretty much take that and put that over there yeah that's looking good I mean the thing here just to explain myself a little bit um, this is the 61.8 percent and this little move here would be corrective if that top gets taken out so we'll be above the 61.8 percent and it's a little bit rough here for wave c um but we could look at it as one and two and three and abc for four or four to here then one two three four five so it's quite a good C wave there for, for all of that. So we can call that in. And the fact that it's come back up to 61.8%, but it hasn't come back up in a corrective pattern. You know, it's come back up in an impulse wave. <clears throat> so that put, that sets the tone for, for being long. You could split your bets and we could look also to add. We would normally look to add on the other side over here anyway. So there we go. Um, and also with this two, our stop loss over here. Let's just, I know it's going to be tested again. Um, you know, once we go, we'll probably look for something, you know, like this here. And it's just how far this comes back here. You know, if it comes back and tests it lower at that point, I'll be happy to move it if I understand the structure that's thing. But in the meantime, let's just um, put this up under here now. <clears throat> We've protected those two positions and we look to build in over here. So yeah, a bit rough and ready, but all good. Okay, so over to square. We've got a long position in square. We've got the stop out of the way. Um, as you, yeah, so this particular move up through here can be counted as an A wave, uh, a B wave coming back and a C wave moving up. So it'd be nice to move past this top here. Uh, I just need to wait here before I bring a stop closer to here, just in case we get some sort of uh, A wave, B wave and C wave here before uh, heading higher here. So not that we will get that, but um, it does look rather impulsive at that point. We'll just check on that. Let's just go to a 10 tick chart. So we could look at it as one and two, obviously the drop in the third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave. So we could look at it as wave one here with one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then a third wave and a fourth wave and a fifth wave. So it's possible. Yeah, it can fail just here. So we'll just give that a bit of uh, a, a bit of time to um, to play out. <clears throat> I mean, the correction from the top down to the bottom is fine uh in terms of technical terms it is a bit small for a wave four i have to say but we're getting that across the board so i might need to readjust things but let's just give that a bit of time and a bit more space <clears throat> and obviously we need that top taken out there to to do that i mean i did count up here as one two three four five to this point and then i changed it here just in case it it had an expanded flat in here, but that was just a bit of a guess. Um, so I still really want to take that top out there, obviously. So anyway, the market's bullish. We'll see how we go with that. And uh, Facebook. I did have a count for Facebook where, I don't know if you remember that we were looking for one more low. Um, so that may, may be it, but uh, the way that it's presented itself, it looks like it can have little one and two and three and four and five here. So let's just go in and <clears throat> have a look at that. 
so a bit more don't need a lot of data here <clears throat> so this was the old low here now the thing here is that we've got this three wave move here and we've taken out the low of B here so it confirms that as a three wave move that means we should be taking out the low here this move here it could be counted as five waves of one and two and three and four and five here so that means we'll have a rally back to here and then we'll have another little move down through here so we'll just um we'll just wait to go long here if i see a nice classic trading levels pattern here and i see I see from the low here, I can see a larger impulse wave. Well, then we'll have a go at it. But while this is looming over us, I don't think that um, we should be buying on the lows here. I just don't have enough uh, positive pattern to to work a trade off the low there. Um, yeah, based on this three wave move here. So, yeah, I mean, the natural flow would be looking for five waves down. So we've got um, Google, uh, Amazon, face, uh, Facebook here that have got potential to move lower. OK, so some stocks can move lower and some stocks stocks can move higher. Now, you know, maybe once again, we can maybe we can get five waves out of this here. I'll need to go back and. Uh, double check it um, one two one two three four five yeah a bit rough um, yeah forcing it a little bit I'll just wait to see here I don't think we should be any hurry here and Tesla so it's moved up uh, ten good ten percent there, obviously. Um, oh yeah, twelve percent. Um, so um, yeah, it's just got more to move. Um, as I mentioned before, with this line through here, when I look at this from this low here uh, to this point here, this is the half halfway mark of the trend. <clears throat> So we can pretty much grab this distance here or, or this sort of behavior and sort of flip it over on its head. So we will be going uh, higher here, but obviously we're going to be spending a little bit of time uh, here as well. And I'll need to just check on that to see where all that is. <clears throat> I mean, we stuck to these numbers when we got here. See how it pushed up higher here and then sort of came back down. So I'm thinking we'll see something of that. We'll see something here like this, you know. <clears throat> but we'll certainly be pushing higher. And the next important level, of course, is the 100. And then we've got 200 and 300. They make up minor group one. And then we've got the um, the uh, medium level at 1,500. <clears throat> so, yeah, I would expect this to sort of top out anywhere close to this number here. I still need a four and a five there. So I would say, just generally speaking, most people are not traders of this, they're holders. So uh, we can pretty much say that we probably spend some time at 1000, but the structure should see us taking us up into, let's just call it 1200 uh, and possibly 1400 uh, as, a, as a toppy thing there.
The other thing I wanted to talk about here as well is that I can squeeze here down here just to <clears throat> readdress this because as I mentioned I needed to work on it but we could look at it as an A and a B here and then one two three four five you'll have to see that yourself but then it leaves this little area here now I've got one and two here but I'm thinking that we may need to have one and two here and bring all these back one step Anyway, it's just something I'm working on. Uh, once I get it sorted, I'll uh, I'll explain it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, we've either got to put way four there, or we've got to put way four there. It's just eeny, meeny, miny, mo, really. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. I mean, I feel more comfortable with it uh, here. Um, you know, as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave. It's just hard to get a C wave out of that. Um, but. Um, yeah maybe you can just finish in three alrighty um, I'll leave it at that so yeah um, yeah it's interesting isn't it I mean we've got the Nasdaq and the S&P pushing up into into their trends and that's good and we can see Tesla here sort of leading that way we can see Apple also moving along quite nicely um, and even Square is moving along quite nicely we know that the banks are moving along quite nicely as well so this is um, BAC here and we've been looking at this many times but an A and a B and a C for way 4 here then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for 1 back for 2 here and this would be wave uh, 1 and I need to double check on that but 1 and 2 in here somewhere um, and 3, 4, 5 so we still need to go up for this we still need a long way to go for that third wave and a fourth wave and a fifth wave here for this the other banks are the same as well for this so um, but yeah I remember picking them up here and we're looking for the first wave and so on so yeah all the banks <clears throat> this is where the banks are just want to check on um, So we'll check on Microsoft. <clears throat> yeah, it's much the same as the banks in a way. So we've still got further to push up here as well. <clears throat> but uh, one and two and three and four, so wave four can come back a bit further and wave five, and then it will pull back into that space. So kind of where st stock is at the moment indices alrighty well uh, I'll leave it at that um, great thanks for tuning in cheers